we were dealing with the lesson discovering to the saga continues recap tut was a pharaoh of ancient egypt he was just a teenager when he died and was the last heir of a powerful family the modern world has speculated about what happened to him it is also thought that he could have been murdered on january 5th 2005 the world's most famous mummy was put into a ct scanner the british archaeologist howard carter discovered tut's tomb in 1922 the things that were found caused a sensation at the time of the discovery they are now considered the richest royal collection ever found tut was buried with everyday things that he could need in the afterlife carter then started investigating the three coffins when carter reached the coffin that had the mummy in it he ran into trouble the resins that had been used in the ritual had hardened they had cemented to to the bottom of his solid gold coffin carter tried to loosen the resins in the heat of the sun but it made no difference at all at last he had to use the chisel to raise the king's remains from the coffin to separate tut from all these things carter's men removed the mummy's head and severed nearly every major joint then they reassembled the parts on a layer of sand in a wooden box and used pads in order to conceal the damage in 1968 More than 40 years after Carter's discovery, an anatomy professor x-rayed the mummy and revealed a startling fact. Beneath the resin that has hardened over his chest, the breastbone and front ribs are missing. Amenhotep III was Tut's father or grandfather and was a powerful pharaoh. He ruled for almost 4 decades. His son Amenhotep IV succeeded him. He started one of the strangest periods in the history of ancient Egypt. He made his people worship Aten, the sun god. After Akhenaten's death, a mysterious ruler, Smenker, appeared briefly. and then a very young tutankhamun took the throne today he is widely known as king tut he brought back all the old laws and ways of life he ruled for about 9 years and then died unexpectedly now we will continue regardless of his fame and the speculations about his fate tut is one mummy among many in egypt no one knows about tut's fame or his fate and he is one of the many mummies that still exist in egypt how many no one knows we don't know how many mummies are there in egypt The Egyptian mummy project which began an inventory in late 2003 has recorded almost 600 so far and is still counting. The project called the Egyptian mummy project began an inventory. Inventory means making a list of mummies in 2003. And it was able to count 600 mummies so far and now is still continuing their work to discover more mummies the next phase scanning the mummies with a portable ct machine donated by the national geographic society and 
Siemens, its manufacturer. In the first phase, they had to discover the mummies and secondly, they had to scan the mummies to find out the mysteries surrounding them. CT scan machine is donated by the National Geographic and Siemens is its manufacturer. King Tut is one of the first mummies to be scanned in death as in life, moving regularly ahead of his countrymen. King Tut is one of the first mummies to be scanned in death and he is first among his countrymen because all the other mummies are still to be discovered and scanned. Regally ahead means royally ahead. In death also he was moving royally ahead as in life. A CT machine scanned the mummy head to toe creating 1700 digital x-ray images in cross-section. The CT machine was able to scan the mummy from head to toe and it was able to show 1700 digital x-ray images. Such was the precision or quality. It was so clear. Tut's head scanned in 0.62 millimeter slices to register its intricate structures takes on eerie detail in the resulting image. Eerie means strange and frightening. The head of Tut was scanned in 0.62 millimeter slices and it was able to show all the fine details of the head. And finally, when the result was given, every strange result was shown in the image. Even minute details were covered in that scan. With Tut's entire body similarly recorded, a team of specialists in radiology, forensics and anatomy began to probe the secrets that the winged goddesses of a gilded burial shrine protected for so long. The whole body of Tut was scanned in a similar fashion. A team of specialists began to find out the secrets of his death. They wanted to find out the details of the body that was protected by the winged goddesses of a gilded burial shrine, that is, Osiris, who is the goddess of the dead. The night of the scan, workmen carried to from the tomb in his box. On the night of the scanning day, the workmen carried to from the tomb. Like pallbearers, they climbed a ramp and a flight of stairs into the swirling sand outside, then rose on a hydraulic lift into the trailer that held the scanner. Like pallbearers, Paul Bearer means one who carries the dead body at a funeral. Like Paul Bearers, they were carrying the body and were climbing a ramp. Ramp means slope and a flight of stairs because the tomb was some feet below the ground. And when they came out, they were angry dust devils. And the sand was swirling. Swirling means moving in a whirling motion. They lifted the body and went up on a hydraulic lift. Hydraulic lift is a lift which works by the pressure of water. And to the trailer that carried the scanner. Twenty minutes later, two men emerged, sprinted for an office nearby and returned with a pair of white plastic fans. Sprinted means ran fast. 
As soon as they placed the body in the scanner, two men came running because they wanted a pair of plastic fans. The million dollar scanner had quit because of sand in a cooler fan. The sand had entered into the cooler fan and it had stopped working. So to cool the scanner, they brought fans. Curse of the Pharaoh joked a guard nervously. A guard who was standing there joked nervously that the fan stopped working because of the curse of the Pharaoh. Eventually, the substitute fans worked well enough to finish the procedure. The substitute plastic fans did the job well and the scanning was over. After checking that no data had been lost, the technicians turned Tut over to the workmen who carried him back to his tomb. After the scanning was over, checking that no data had been lost, his body was taken to the tomb. Less than three hours after he was removed from his coffin, the pharaoh again rested in peace where the funerary priest had laid him so long ago. Procedure completed in three hours and after that he laid in his tomb where the funerary priest had laid him. Back in the trailer, a technician pulled up astonishing images of Tut on a computer screen. Trailer is the mobile scanner. The technician pulled out certain astonishing images from the trailer. It was surprising because every detail was very clear and they could see these images on a computer screen. A grey head took shape from a scattering of pixels and the technician spun and tilted it in every direction. They could see the head of the mummy which took shape from a scattering of pixels. Pixels means minute area of illumination on screen. The technician was able to view the 3D image of King Tut. Neck vertebrae appeared as clearly as in an anatomy class. The neck vertebrae, vertebrae means small bones that form backbone, was very clear. The vertebrae, the neck vertebrae was very clear as in an anatomy class. Anatomy class is where you study the human body. Other images revealed a hand, several views of the rib cage, and a transection of the skull. Different parts of the body was clearly visible, including the skull. But for now, the pressure was off. Sitting back in his chair, Sahi Hawa smiled, visibly relieved that nothing had gone seriously wrong. I didn't sleep last night, not for a second, he said. I was so worried, but now I think I will go and sleep. Now, Sahi Hawass, who was doing this project, was very much relieved. He was really tense till now. He was worried about the safety of the body and the result he was going to get. He was relieved that everything was well and there was nothing seriously wrong. Because of these pressures, he says, he was not able to sleep last night. But now he says that he is relieved and he could sleep. By the time we left the trailer, descending metal stairs to the sandy ground, the wind had stopped. As soon as the body was left back in its place, the wind stopped. Everything became normal again. The winter air 
lay cold and still like death itself in this valley of the departed. In this valley of the departed, the air was very cold and everything was still. Just above the entrance to Tut's tomb stood Orion, the constellation that the ancient Egyptians knew as the soul of Osiris, the god of the afterlife, watching over the boy king. Just above the entrance of Tut's tomb, we could see the constellation. Constellation means a group of stars called Orion. Egyptians believed that this constellation is a soul of Osiris and this god of afterlife was always watching the boy king. They believed that the god Osiris always was guarding his tomb. We come to the end of this lesson. Thank you.